everyone welcome to story rajiv gandhi ias academy this video is about your ews reservation that is economically weaker section reservation and related issues and this topic can be analyzed in the perspective of whether uh, it is constitutionally valid or not what are the issues in related to economically weaker section in relation to something our 103rd constitutional amendment act 2019 so in this video we will discuss first thing is the existing reservation system in india in relation to government jobs and educational institution admissions the second one is related to what is economically weaker section reservation the third thing we need to discuss that is what is the criteria for economically weaker section eligibility the next thing we need to discuss what are the issues regarding economically weaker section reservation then is there any significance in relation to ews reservation the last one is what may be the way forward or conclusion regarding economically weaker section why i telling this this case is under constitutional bench that is five members constitutional bench since august 2020 so economically weaker section as a criteria introduced in india based on 103rd constitutional amendment act 2019 but it was challenged in the supreme court of india based on the constitutional validity in august 2020 so till now this case is undergoing many constitutional question whether the economically weaker section criteria is valid under the constitutional validity or it is not, it is against the constitutional basic structure this is the issues involved so frequent enna panirpingina so last uh, september month la there are two hearings in relation to economically weaker section you, uh, i think you can come across those issues in your newspapers so first thing uh, what is the existing reservation system in relation to government jobs and educational institution admissions okay so from the broader perspective from the union government perspective uh, there are three criteria of reservation in relation to the government jobs and the educational institution admissions so as of now exactly the 49.5 percentage reservation is available on the basis of the caste in india something obc there are 27 percentage of reservation for obc based on mandal commission report in government jobs and educational institution admissions so for the scheduled caste peoples there are 15 percentage of reservation in jobs and admissions so there are 7.5 percentage of reservation for the scheduled tribes in india okay so these are the existing reservation system for government jobs and educational institution in india okay you should know one more thing what about the physically challenged person reservation so physically challenged person reservation it is a criteria which 
under those 49.5 percentage okay it is included that is inner criteria for the existing reservation system as a 3 percentage of reservation for physically challenged that is physically handicapped persons in government jobs okay so basically in the things that you first understand you know so what are all the existing reservation system in India so uh, something those uh, OBC category, those SC category and ST category all are based on our article 15 and article 16 of our fundamental rights in Indian constitution. Okay. So, mainly these reservation based on socially and educationally backward classes criteria. Okay, so initially the reservation system in India on the basis of socially and educational backward classes. Okay, either base panida and up on Abdina, initial India alone the reservation system create pananga from the introduction of our constitution from 1950. The reservation system as a concept was introduced for only 10 years for the upliftment bar, upliftment of socially and educationally backward classes of, uh, but the criteria still continues on the basis of socially and educationally backward classes okay this is the existing system so coming to our this chapter that is economically weaker section economically weaker section reservation which means that the reservation for the poor people in undeserved category okay so the economically weaker section reservation in both government jobs and educational institution admission was recommended by one committee that is SR Sinho committee which appointed by the UPA government in 2006. Based on the recommendation of SR Sinho committee, the economically weaker section criteria has been introduced in India in 2019. So, for this economically weaker section reservation, the government of India has created 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act 2019. 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act 2019 which introduced two new articles in the Indian Constitution Fundamental Rights category which deals with in Article 15 subclass 6 and also Article 16 subclass 6. Article 15 subclass 6 deals with EWS that is economically weaker session reservation in education institution article 16 subclass 6 deals with economically weaker section reservation in related to government jobs okay this is the basic thing we need to understand which means that the reservation is based on the economic criteria is introduced in India in, was introduced in India in 2019 and the inception of article 15 subclass 6 and article 16 subclass 6 which deals with both the reservation in education institution and also in government jobs ok. So the next thing we need to understand how uh, we will identify the economically weaker section. Economically weaker section of are whether they are under uh, something general category, whether they are under SC category, ST category or OBC category or any other category. So there should be some criteria. There should be some eligibility to included in economically weaker section criteria. The first criteria should be 
the person or the applicant should be from the unreserved category the person should be from unreserved category which means that he should not be under the reservation of the existing system because he should not be from obc category he should not be from sc category reservation he should not be from st category reservation or any other reservation that means obc reservation sc reservation st reservation in the end reservation ni varakudade they should be from general category reservation so appo the general category reservation la iruka avangalukku enna pandranga appadina reservation provide pandranga for the economically weaker section evlo percentage provide pandranga appadina that is 10 percentage of reservation in general category for economically weaker section those who are not covered under the existing reservation system this is the first criteria the second criteria should be the income criteria the second criteria should be the income criteria the applicant or the family of applicant income should not be more than 8 lakhs 8 lakhs ku mela and the family oda income iruka kuda first thing the second criteria should be the family should not hold the agriculture land more than 5 acres appo and the family ki agri land 5 acres ku mela iruka kuda this should be your second criteria the third criteria should be the family should not have more than 1000 square feet of residential flat so there should not be more than 1000 square feet of residential flat this should be your third criteria appa nama something residential flat vandu 1000 square feet ku mela namak irukku kudadu 1000 square feet ku ulle irukalam then the fourth one is related to there should not be more than 100 square feet yards there should not be more than 100 square feet yards of residential plot there should not be more than 100 square feet of yards of residential plot in notified municipality area so municipality areas la enna iruka kudadu residential plot land should not be more than 100 square feet of yards if idula rendu criteria irukudu so fourth criteria you should understand clearly so if it is municipal area your residential plot should not exceed 100 square feet yards if it is non municipal area your residential plot should not exceed 200 square feet yards okay so these are the criteria which decides the eligibility of economically weaker section in indian constitution based on 103rd constitutional amendment act so the next thing we need to understand is whether these four criteria applicable for the person who applied or for the family as a whole adavadhu in the reservation vandu ipo na vandu in the reservation system ku na vandu apply pandren appadina so whether i should not hold something the income i should not hold the agriculture or the family abdin question pannu appadina it is a applicant and also the applicant's family 
ஓகே ஸோ அப்போ நான் இந்த ஒரு ரிசர்வேஷன் சிஸ்டம்க்கு அப்ளை பண்ணுறேன் அப்படின்னா எக்கனாமிக்லி வீக்வைசேஷன் கேட்டகரியில் நான் எலிஜிபிள் ஆகும் அப்படின்னா என்னோடய ஃபேமிலியும் சரி நானும் இந்த க்ரைட்டீரியாவுக்கு மேலே இன்கம் இருக்கக்கூடாது இந்த மாதிரி ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஃப்ளாட் இருக்கக்கூடாது ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஃப்ளாட் இருக்கக்கூடாது அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் லேண்ட் இருக்கக்கூடாது அப்போ என்ன கொஷின் அரைஸ் ஆகும் அப்படின்னா வாட் இஸ் மீன் திஸ் ஃபேமிலி Who are all the persons can be included in the definition of family under economically weaker section reservation? Okay, this is what we are going to do. Then, family is going to be who? Family is going to be who? That's something who is going to be who is going to be who? So, the applicant are the person who applied for the reservation. Next, the parents both mother and father third one the spouse or his or her children the last important category is it also includes the siblings that is your brother or sister who is under the age of 18 years appa or family oda income abingirad edha edha la decide aagudha appadina something it is based on your mother father your spouse your children and also it includes of your brother and sisters who are all under the age of 18 years 18 years ku mela irukanga avanga name la irukuna it is not calculated in your account okay these are the criteria for the inclusion of economically weaker section clear so the next important thing is the issues arise agudha appadina whether the economically weaker section criteria that is based on the economical background of a person is similar to obc reservation because obc oda creamy layer reservation 8 lakhs per annum na vechirukanga something economically weaker section criteria 8 lakhs per annum na anuchirukanga this question raised in supreme court of india something appa economically weaker section reservation ku obc reservation ku enna difference appdin solli theriyanu okay so there are two major difference so the first difference is எக்கனாமிக்லி வீக்கர் செக்ஷன் ஓகே அவங்களோட இன்கம் கிரைட்டீரியாவை எப்படி கால்குலேட் பண்ணுவாங்க அப்படின்னா த எக்கனாமிக்லி வீக்கர் செக்ஷன் கிரைட்டீரியா இன்கம் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ஃபினான்ஷியல் இயர் ஃபினான்ஷியல் இயர் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஏப்ரல் ஒன் டு மார்ச் தேர்ட்டி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸோ அப்போ இவங்களோட இன்கம் எப்படி கால்குலேட் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா இப்போ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இந்த இயர் ஆகஸ்ட்ல வந்து சம்திங் பிப்ரவரியில நோட்டிபிகேஷன் வருது அப்படின்னா சார் இப்போ பிப்ரவரியில நோட்டிபிகேஷன் வருது ஒரு ஃபினான்ஷியல் இயரே கம்ப்ளீட் ஆகலை அப்படின்னா இஃப் யூ அப்ளை ஃபார் த ட்வெண்ட்டி ட்வெண்ட்டி த்ரீ யூ ஹாவ் டு சப்மிட் யோர் த ஃபினான் யோர் ஃபேமிலிஸ் ஃபினான்ஷியல் ரிப்போர்ட் ஃபார் ட்வெண்ட்டி ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் டு ட்வெண்ட்டி ட்வெண்ட்டி டூ விச் மீன்ஸ் தட் த லாஸ்ட் த ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் ஃபினான்ஷியல் இயர்ஸ் இன்கம் சுட் பி சப்மிட்டட் clear so appa financial year base panni economically weaker section oda income criteria va calculate pandranga so if it is obc it is based on annual year annual year means that is from jan to december but one more important criteria that is jan to december three consecutive years average income so in the year ninga 2023 prelims ku apply pandringa appadina for example enna ninga konna na 2020 2021 2022 in the 3 years adavad consecutive 3 years oda average income calculate panni da enna ponuvaanga na ungala obc oda creamy layer la ninga varingala illa whether you are eligible for obc reservation or not appdin decide ponuvaanga this is the first difference the second difference is related to so the income includes what 
if it is related to obc reservation obc whether you are under obc cream layer or not abdin eppadi decide pannuvaanga na so both are under 8 lakh but in the 8 lakh eppadi calculate pandranga the constituent parts of 8 lakhs enna enna abdina so obc reservation la neenga eligible aaganu abdina your or your family's salary income agri income or any other traditional additional professionals these three criterias will not be counted as your income ab obc reservation la ninga eligible aaganum appadina so your regular salary or your family's regular salary or your agri income or additional professions la irundhu varra income இது எது OBC ஓட கிரைட்டீரியால இன்க்ளூட் பண்ண மாட்டாங்க தட் இன்கம் फ्रॉम अदर திங்ஸ் தட் இஸ் சாலரி அக்ரி அண்ட் ஆர்டிஷனல் ப்ரொபஷனல்ஸ் ல இருந்து வர अदर இன்கம்ஸ் தான் அந்த 8 லக் கிரைட்டீரியா எடுத்து பாங்க திஸ் இஸ் தி செகண்ட் டிஃபரன்ஸ் பட் இன் ரிலேஷன் டு எகனாமிக்கலி வீக்கர் செக்ஷன் கிரைட்டீரியா ஆல் தி இன்கம்ஸ் will be included for the financial year every income for yours and your family will be counted for those 8 lakh rupees for the economically weaker section income criteria based on our 103rd constitutional amendment so these are the major two difference as stated by our attorney general of india in the supreme court of india regarding the economically weaker section reservation constitutional bench questions okay these are the answers given by um, our advocate general of india sir attorney general of india so next thing we need to discuss what are all the issues involved it illa enna issues irukke whether it is right or wrong abdi nama differ panna poradilla so whether it is constitutionally valid or not because the reservation for economically weaker section it is under the case of Uh, something our five bench constitution five judges constitutional bench the case is running so based on the verdict of supreme court only we can judge whether it is constitutionally valid or not but the basis of our competitive exam on the basis of our aspirant uh, upsc aspirant we should discuss both the side whether there are some whether there is any issues regarding the economically weaker section reservation or is there any significance very simple economically weaker section kondu vandathu evlo useful ah irukku illa economically weaker section reservation kondu vandathu constitution ku evlo against ah irukku indha rendu vishayam da major ah discuss panna porom so as question raised by the supreme court of india there are three important issues in regarding economically weaker section the first one is related to whether it is affecting the basic structure of constitution on the basis of 50 percentage reservations quota the next is the reservation only based on economical background okay so because idu therinjukona appadina namak innor vishayam theriyum something we need to know, understand those two verdict which means that a government's reservation quota should not exceed the 50 percentage of the total seats available for the total jobs available okay so 50 percentage cap of reservation abdin solli solluvanga appa reservation gerudhu 50 percentage ku mele increase aagakudadu abdin solli solli irukanga then the reservation for the government jobs the reservation for the education institution admission should not solely should not only based on economic criteria abdin solli epa sollirukanga abdina that is in 
इंद्रा सानी केस 1992 Now, in Indra Sani case 1992, the Supreme Court of India has given verdict the reservation quota of the government should not exceed the 50 percentage limit. And also, there is one more important thing the reservation should not only based on the economical background of the person. This is the first issue which is raised by the Supreme Court of India. So, then Next issue is that is related to Article 19, 1 subclass G, okay, which deals with our fundamental rights. Uh, that is related to right to freedom. Article 19 subclass 1 G, lena sunil ganga abdina. So, freedom of profession. So, freedom of profession in the sense, uh, right, so with the basic eligibilities, every citizens in India to have uh, to run a profession at their own will. So, based on the qualities as prescribed by the government of India. Either is the issue of Dina. So, the concept of economically weaker section reservation in educational institution applies for every educational institutions in India. Up economically weaker section reservation of it is not only for the government educational institution, it also applicable for the private educational institutions. Up the question. Upon the private educational institutions, climb it is against the freedom of profession because unaided government institutions also should give the economically weaker section reservation of being solution. So, which means then the government compels the private education institution to give education that is economically weaker section reservation. Now, first issue it is against constitutional basic structure which means that uh, economic economy should not be the only criteria. So, this is the first issue economy should not only be the criteria and also 50 percentage reservation cap exceed. This is application for private educational institution. The third one, our Supreme Court of India has raised a question that is related to the exclusion of, third is exclusion of socially and educationally backward classes under SC, ST and OBC whether it is constitutionally valid to exclude some group or not. Up economically weaker section criteria, la, even though SC, ST, OBC, CLR already reservations here but whether it is constitutionally valid to exclude them, even the economically weaker section criteria, la, eligible aga matanga, only it is for the unreserved category, the constitutionally valid or not, the exclusion of SC, ST and OBCs. Abdin question manita. Okay. So last time September 9 up constitutional hearing Naranche. This was the three question or three issues uh, raised by the Supreme Court of India towards the Union government. Okay, so these are the three issues. Okay, is there any significance? What is the statement by Union government? We can consider this as a significance. Yeah, the last for a constitutional question, we should not give our, our own opinion. We have our own opinion on the UPSC answers. Because this question is under judiciary. Okay, so judiciary rise on the issues and then we will tell you. That is back up on the government and answers. Okay, no, it is constitutionally valid. Okay, we have these things, we followed these things. So, it is constitutionally valid. Advocate General of India, Supreme Court, argue upon your career. Up a yen argue upon a valid, valid, a bean solis, old, a bean solin, Okay, so first thing the Advocate General said that it is constitutionally valid because the upliftment of 
economically and socially poor people for the welfare of society which is mentioned in article 46 of our constitution under directive principles of state policy adavad enna solliranga na dpsp article 46 la enna solliranga appadina economically and socially back, backward people that is economically and economically poor people and socially backward people oda upliftment kaga government should take some necessary measures appdi solli solliranga so appa based on article 46 la da naanga indha measures eduthirukom it is not constitutionally against the system it is constitutionally valid appdi solli solliranga okay so this is the first defense given by our advocate attorney general so the next point is whether it is affecting uh, something the basic structure of constitution abdin question raise panna abdina no it is not affecting the basic structure of constitution as stated by the attorney general of india because if a particular policy if a particular uh, something act considered to be against the constitution he should degrade the identity of the constitution that is the constitution identity degrade pandra maari irundha da the constitution ku against ah kondu varanu this economically weaker section reservation it is only for the upliftment of the poor people in india abdin solli solranga okay so poor people in india so around 19 percentage of unreserved category okay based on the statement given by the attorney general around 19 percentage of the people from unreserved category comes under economically weaker section but the petitioner told that in india most of the people's yearly income is under around 95 percentage of indians income is under 8 lakh only Okay, so this is the argument given by uh, something the petitioner, but Papa, but attorney general in a sort of 90 percentage reservation could grow, but it, it never affect the basic structure of constitution because it is constitutionally valid as stated by article 15 subclass 4 and also article 16 subclass 4, which stated that the government can create the necessary action for the upliftment of backward classes whether it is SC, STR, OBCs but backward classes ka upliftment ka ka government ondhi in the necessary actions when I declare in related to something education institution admissions are work la and also in relation to government jobs are work la so the next thing the advocate uh, something advocate uh, attorney general in a soldier of dinner so it never affects any basic structure abin sonnaru then article 46 defend mannaru then article 15 subclass 4 and also article 16 subclass 4 id ellame defend mannaru so then the important criteria that is the exclusion of sc sts and obcs exclusion adavadhu sc st obcs based on economic criteria they are excluded from those 10 percentage reservation again the great answers with they given means so sc sts and obcs they are already covered in the fruitful existing reservation system there is no need for inclusion of sc sts and obcs based on economic criteria because they are included on the basis of socially and educationally and inclusive of all those people on SC, ST and OBC manner in this economically weaker section criteria is only for the people who are from the undeserved category they are already under the reservation system why should we give reservation for those people because they are uh, if you are SC you are included if you are ST you are included if you are OBC under non creamy layer, you are included. So, under reservation system, like 10 percentage of reservation, which promotes the social equality in India. In the economically weaker section, or um, significance. Then, the last one 
coming to the conclusion okay so apart from the question whether it is constitutionally valid or not we should uh, give some conclusion to the upsc if asked question which means that the reservation system in india should act for the necessary goal which means that or reservation system abingirade it should fulfill the necessary goal of the democratic system for example economically weaker session ku vandu or criteria kudukrom abina economically weaker session ku or reservation kudukrom abina it should increase it should uplift their economical background it should uplift their economically situation appa or reservation system abingirade it is not a gift it is an opportunity to uplift their own life so appa nam it is a uh, something temporary provisions are the reservation system kondu vandom but uh, both it is sc reservation ah irukalam st reservation ah irukalam obc reservation ah irukalam or economically weaker section uh, reservation ah irukalam but it is not a gift it should uplift their own life புரியுதா அப்போ ரிசர்வேஷன் சிஸ்டம் எடுத்துடணுமா எடுக்கக்கூடாதா அப்படிங்கிற கொஷினை நம்ம இப்போ கன்க்ளூட் பண்ண முடியாது இட் இஸ் ஆன் த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் சொசைட்டல் ப்ராசஸ் அண்ட் பொலிட்டிக்கல் ப்ராசஸில் இஃப் தி ஆர் ரியலி அப்லிஃப்டட் ஓகே வி கேன் கன்சிடர் ஃபார் த ரிமூவல் ஆஃப் ரிசர்வேஷன் சிஸ்டம் வெதர் இட் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் இடபிள்யூஎஸ் ஆர் கேஸ்ட் பேஸ்ட் சிஸ்டம் ஓகே த